G'day stage four clarinetists. Um, we're up to week three of term two. Hopefully you've been keeping up with what's going on. Today we're looking particularly in your book at numbers 57 through to 62. So can you make sure you have your book open and ready at those um, spots please? It should be, um, I don't know, page number. So number 57, we're gonna go through to 62. First of all, we're gonna work on some warm ups. So with the clarinet, it's important to make sure, one, that the reed is working, two, that your embouchure, your lips are working properly. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to take our mouthpiece and our barrel. That's our barrel, this is our mouthpiece. Make sure your reed is set up correctly. And you just see just the tip of the, the reed over the back of the clarinet um, mouthpiece. All right? So we should be able to see a good little bit of the, what they call the crescent, this round thing. Um, above the ligature. This thing here is called a ligature. Yours will probably be metal, mine's a leather ligature. All right, so we're gonna put the, the reed in our mouth, put the clown in the mouth, I'm gonna play a note. So just do that. You're working on your embouchure, try and get a nice straight note. All right, and it should make a sound something like that. Practice that until you get it, it can happen just every time. Okay, we're gonna put our mouthpiece and our barrel back onto our clarinet. All right, just make sure it's working correctly. All right, the notes you've learned so far, you started with a C. Our C is our first, second, third finger with our thumb on the back. So make sure you're covering those holes properly. If your notes are squeaky or not coming out properly, it's normally because your holes aren't fully covered. So make sure your fingers are fully covering all those holes. We're gonna start with a C, and we're gonna work up to a G, and then we're gonna do, do the low notes as well. So starting with a C, and we're working up to the G. This is just part of your warm-up. Hold those notes for a good four counts. Ready, starting on that C. One, two, three, C. E, E, F, and then there's a G with nothing on at all. Alright, so that's just warming up, getting nice notes. Can you do that a few times? Turn the video off now and go through your C up to G, getting nice warm sounds and make sure that every note sounds because then we're gonna go down um, to some lower notes and if these notes aren't working, the other notes don't sound very well. All right, so we are gonna start going down. We're starting at our C, we're going down to our B, then we're gonna do our A and then our G at the low G. All right, that's an octave lower than that G. All right, so we're starting on our C, we're going down B, A, and G. C, B, second finger, A, first and second finger in your right hand, and then your low G is the first three fingers in your right hand. All right, so we're gonna play those notes. We're gonna go from a G, up to the top A. Now top A is this little toggly finger there. No thumb on the back, and it's just that little one there. So we're gonna play from G up to A and back down again. All right, play with me. We're gonna do just two beats on each. After four, starting on low G. One, two, three, go. until they come out nice and cleanly. Remember the low notes are difficult if you don't have all your fingers covering all the way along. So make sure you work on getting those fingers covered properly. Practice that again, stop the video and practice it. Then we're gonna get straight into play number 57. All right, we're looking at number 57 in the book. 
So I open that up. We're particularly looking at quavers. Quavers are twice as fast as our normal crotchet. In America, they call them eighth notes. Um, they call quarters, the crotchets quarter notes. We call them crotchets and quavers. So, look at the first bar of 57. And if we're counting, we have one, two, three, four. So our first note is a crotchet. Our next two notes are quavers, then we have a crotchet, then we have a rest, a crotchet rest. So if we're doing a rhythm is one, two, and three, rest. Or it sounds like this. All right? So play along with me if you can. If you're having trouble with it, I'm going to play it through, stop the video, and work on it a few times. All right, number 57, after four. One, two, three, go. Excellent. You will know the repeat sign at the end there. I'm only going to play all these once, but you get to repeat them when you work on it. Again, stop the video and practice that piece of music. 58. Again, you have the B part, so the melody won't make a lot of sense, and you're doing some imitation, you're copying another part. So look at your music. Again, we're in 4 4 time. We have the first bar rest. So we're still going to count ourselves in and then we're going to count that first bar. Then we have a rest on the first beat of the next bar. So let's play number 58. Ready? After four, one, two, three, go. Rest, two, three, four, rest. Rest, two, three, four, rest. Rest, two, three, four, rest. Again, repeat that, practice that in your own time. All right, number 59, Ten Little Indians. Probably not a um, politically correct anymore in the US, but anyway, number 59. After four, one, two, three, go. You'll notice there that the third bar goes a bit softer than the beginning and then it goes up a bit louder for the end of it. Alright, we're going to keep going again, stop the video in between and practice these pieces. Number 60, called Bluey, so it's probably written in Australia, we'll find out. And there's a lot of quavers all in a row, alright, so we have our first eight notes are all quavers. After four, one, two, three, go. Excellent. You'll notice again that in that last line, I got a bit louder because that crescendo mark, and then we finished it at forte, which is loud. Number 61, and we're starting this one softly and then going quite loud. So we're working on our dynamics in this one. After four. One, two, three, four. watching, I made a mistake in the second last bar, I put an extra two quavers in there. So if you can pick that up, good, then tell me that I made a mistake. Alright, last one we're going to do, number 62, 
all the way down how to farm. And you've got the main melody here. They're asked how many parts, but you've got the main melody. And we're playing some low notes. So be careful to get those low notes. We're going down to G's and A's. All right, after four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. I hope you have a chance to go through all those and work on them so that we can go into the next page next week. We need to push it along a little bit. At the same time, make sure you practice your pieces, um, power rock and when the saints go marching in. Alright, thank you very much. Hope to see you very soon.